Hello, I'm RJ Dent. I'm in my library and going to be looking at uh, Edmund Spencer's The Fairy Queen today. Um, now this really is um, a cornerstone of English literature. This this book is it's not read by many. Uh, this is we're talking about pre-Shakespeare here. Um, this is back in the days when uh, Edmund Spencer was writing. Um, well, he was writing for. Um, well, it was a, eventually um, um, dedicated to um, Elizabeth the First, as you can see from the picture on the front. But this is a long epic uh, poem, um, a thousand pages of long epic poem of, about a series of uh, knights that go on adventures. So it's a sort of a book of chivalry. The original idea was for Edmund Spencer to write um, 12 books, and each book was going to be about one of the moral virtues, as he called them. Uh, he ended up writing six books and a couple of cantos from the mutability section. So, um, But yeah, his original plan was to... Um, write about holiness... Um, excuse me, I'll just have a quick look here in the front. Um, so, the uh, Legend of the Knight of the Red Cross or of Holiness, the Legend of Sir Gion or Temperance, the Legend of Britomartis or of Chastity, uh, the Legend of Cambo and Telamond or of Friendship, the Legend of Artigal or of Justice, the Legend of Saint Calidor or of Courtesy. And then book seven is two cantos of mutability, and by then he'd spent so long on it that he really he couldn't write anymore. And um, it was as I say it was dedicated to um, Queen Elizabeth I. And as I say, this this is um, so infrequently read because it's such a huge. Le and lengthy work that most people can't be bothered to actually read it but the fact is it's it's one of the most amazing um, books in in English literature it's absolutely fantastic and if I give you an, an example of what the uh, this is what it looks like inside so this is each each book is divided into several cantos um, so book three, for example, we've already got nine cantos there. Uh, book three, ten cantos. Yeah, so book three has got... Um, excuse me a minute. Twelve cantos. And then we're into the fourth book of the Fairy Queen with its archaic spelling there and um, yeah so that's each so you can see there why people wouldn't want to make the effort to read it because it's huge and it will take a very long time to read but the fact is that the stories in it are incredible that there's lots of adventures happening there's lots of wonderful things going on and it deserves its place as the, as the sort of say the foundation stone really one of the foundation stones of English literature along with Chaucer's Canterbury Tales and along with the works of Shakespeare and along with any of the great works Don Quixote um, any of the works great works of literature that you know of that you you know it's it deserves its place amongst them and more than that it deserves its place at the front of them because it is such a powerful wonderful amazing work of literature and i'm very proud to have it in my library